bro. She'll pop us on nice clothes, come have sex with my wife. Wife don't want to know me, bro. She's like, then she asked me for a car, I bought the car. I said, fuck, you have to fuck me for 30 days straight. <laughs> and she said, I bought the car. Where's my 30 days? I've yeah, got no, the... No, at least you for 30 fucking days. So you better pull your fucking dick Isn't it? Bitch. I'm like, yeah. hey, I want my 30 days. <laughs> I'm full bad, bro. Thank you for sex, bro. I want my 30 days. Where's my 30 days, bro? <laughs> No, we bought enough food to feed like 10 people, don't you? Hmm? Sorry? We bought enough food to feed like 10 people. Yeah, I'm starting to read that. That's alright. Yeah. I can be with Green if I really want to. Yeah. I know he can. Listen, I've cooked dinner to five people. Yeah. Only three of us have eaten. And David has ended up eating the other two servings to somebody else. <laughs> For real, bro, that sounds like me, bro. And then we leave and you're like, oh, I've got a chicken chip shop and I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's in the back. You need to wash it though. <laughs> Don't know his face watching the meat, yo. No, when I mean trash, my aunt is like she used to is it, is it, is it, is it the mother to Charlene? No, no, that's not. That's the Oh. It's my other aunt. Well, she can't cook. No, nah, she's never been a great cook. My mum's the better cook in the Your mum can fucking cook. But just the thing, like, she, she was there, but she didn't want to cook to eat for food, but she didn't cook. Oh, what your mum can cook good? All mums can cook good. Yeah, but this mum. Yeah, my dad's mum, my nan. Some can bake. Yeah, some you can know bake. what? She can she can cook fucking microwave in the in the oven, pizza in the oven. That's all right. She can do that. Cheese on toast. She like that. Oh, yeah, what's one grilled cheese with a pig? My nan mm -hmm. spent a whole life yeah. trying to put out fires, and then when she's not at work, she started them in her kitchen burning sacks of bits. Was she a firefighter? She used to be, yeah, she's dead now. Uh, she used to be a firewoman. Mm. Oh, During the Second World War, she drove fire in. Oh, that's cool. Wasn't cool. No, I mean, I heard you. Because it couldn't have no lights on. All that was on the back was a candle, red light at the yeah. back. Yeah, because the lights were And you had to follow cool. that, and uh, occasionally the appliance in front of you would disappear down a bomb crater. And then when the Germans saw the explosion, they used their machine guns and they were driving over doing the blitz. So that's why I was under their vehicle. My name was the last person in our brigade. And uh, yeah, she had to go to the cenotaph in London every year. And they re and the, she met the Queen hundred times, not hundred times, but a lot of times. No. Every time the Queen met my name, she was like, what was she doing in the war? You asked me that last year. <laughs> well, you said what you were doing? Yes, we were looking after Buckingham Palace mm -hmm. when we should have been looking after people's homes in East London. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're. Well, uh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's definitely green. Huh? My nan is, I don't know where she is. Well, my nan's from Palestine originally, but yeah. she came here when she was like 13, 14. Yeah. And you said that when it comes to London, people want to come here, come here for people. No, well, then come here because during the second, first world war, yeah. politics changed a lot, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people on the hit list. You know what I mean? And the safest place to be was either in the United States, Canada, or the UK. Yeah. That's where everyone said to them. Because they even said, like, um, that there are a lot of, um, like, that's when, even when, um, in the second world war, the Jews were. Yeah. England, they affected England and America. And Canada. Yeah, but there's more in America. Now, Canada's not neutral, they weren't part of America. No, but Canada is, is, is part of British. British, British yeah. So they're not really here. That's why I don't need a visa to go to Canada. Yeah. And I don't, I don't need a visa to go to Canada. No, you know that. With Canada, don't you need, um, if you're going to work there, you need a work visa. I don't need a visa to go to Canada. Yeah. At all. At whatsoever. 
And if I buy a house over there, I get a ten acre basketball court. Okay, that's good. I don't know. I got, I got family, family. On my I yeah, you're Indian, so British citizen. Yeah, and yeah and that's it, man. You don't need a visa. Have you been there? I've been to Canada. I know, I, I just don't know how they copy the rules. Depends where you are, bro. Well, well, you know what? I've been to places uh, just because it's mine, I think. Uh, not me. I can't, I can't. You know what I mean? Well, that's good. I've been, a lot of stuff, I've been to countries where it's 120 degrees all day during the night. And I've been to countries where it's minus fucking 28 all would, day, and it's colder at night. I would have been. Bro, mm -hmm. I went to Hungary, yeah, to Budapest. Mm -hmm. When we got there, the first one we went to was this thermal spa. Yeah. It's outdoor. Mm -hmm. The water's heated by a volcano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was swimming in that. The girl I was with got a fucking chalet and heated and everything. Mm -hmm. Got a rope. Me, I just got a pair of fucking shorts on. When I come out, I've got to walk all the way to the other end of the complex to go through a door. There's ice on the floor. It's fucking snowing. I just come out of fucking 40 degree water 